Welcome everyone to today's uh, lecture. Today we're going to talk about pointers. So pointers is something that a lot of people find difficult, but it's really quite easy to do, at least the more easy operations regarding uh, pointers. So a pointer is a variable in C that doesn't contain any information on its own. You don't store any data inside of it. Instead, you use that pointer to point to another variable or to another part of the memory. So think about it like a shortcut in Windows. You create a shortcut of the real file and when you access the shortcut, you access the file that it's pointing to. But the actual shortcut doesn't contain any information. So let's create pointer.c. And we will begin as usual with our skeleton. And I'm going to start by creating a regular string that we have used before. And I will copy some information to that string. Let's do I like apples. And string copy is a function included in the uh, string.h library which takes three arguments. The first is the target variable where we want to copy the information. The second is a variable or a string that we want to copy to this destination. And the third is the maximum number of bytes that we're going to copy. And I usually use the size of the string minus one. And because of that, we don't risk overflowing that buffer. Okay, so far nothing advanced. Then we will create a pointer called p. So when you create a pointer, you define the type of variable as usual, and the name as usual, but you put a star in front of its name. So this means that this is a char pointer a pointer that can point to any other char so in order to point this one at something i just type p equals str so now p is pointing towards this string and if i do a printf statement and i give p as the argument so we want to print out p. Then it prints out the entire string. I like apples. Then we can manipulate this at different ways. We can, for example, do p equals p plus 1. What this means is p will no longer point to the first character of this string. It will point here. So now the i disappeared. There's just a space and like apples because we will point to the next char in memory, which is this one. We can also just do P++. That has the same effect. So pointers can be used for like enumerating a string. Like if you want to code something that goes through all the different characters in this string, 
and like make it from lowercase to uppercase or something like that we can use pointers this way so we increase it every time we have changed it to uppercase uh, another way of accessing this one is if if we reset this code so it points to the beginning of the string we can also tell C to access not the whole string but exactly this part of it so let's change this to a C and then we put a star in front of the variable name so what does this star mean well this means that we shouldn't access the pointer we should access exactly what the pointer is pointing to and that is the first character of the string so now it just prints out an i so what have we learned today we have learned how to copy a string using string copy we have learned how to create a pointer and point that to another variable. We have learned how to manipulate that pointer, like increasing it, making it jump forward to the next character in the string. And finally, we have learned how to use the star in order to access the exact thing that it's pointing to. Thanks for watching and thanks for today.